Thanks to the Jujutsu Kaisen databook, there are infinite things to learn about our characters. Like, did you know that Gege says if Yuji wasn't a sorcerer, he would have grown up to be a firefighter instead because of his drive to help people. We also learn that Yuji first fell in love with Jennifer Lawrence after seeing her in the Silver Linings playbook. But speaking of movies, we find out that the movies that Gojo rented for Yuji to watch during his training session in season one were Leon, the professional, the descent, the host, which in particular I'm sure was fitting for Yuji to watch, and the Emperor's Naked Army marches on. But the movie that Gojo spoiled for Yuji is called Deep Blue Sea, a 1999 movie starring Samuel L. Jackson based around a trio who fights a group of intelligent sharks, which almost reminds me of the battle between Dagon and the Zanines, so that might have been a bit of foreshadowing there. Continuing on, Gege Akutami says that he doesn't really like Yuji, causing his editor to ask him why choose a character he has such a high difficulty with as his protagonist, to which Gege responds that it's not like he hates Yuji, he just realizes that he's not good at handling him, but he's trying to improve and says that soon he'll chip away at the character, so hopefully soon we'll see what the end result of that chipping will finally reveal.